Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to another video. In this video, we are doing a 3D snowman. I'm going in with this white 3D gel. This is one that I got on AliExpress. I really enjoy this brand. I use it a lot for like competition pieces. Um, I'm just going in with white. You can use colors if you like, but I'm going to show you at near the end how I get um, a really nice color with this white so i'm just rolling it out and i'm making like a little loop joining them together and then i'm going to twist them uh clockwise and i should have done this a little bit thinner um, but it all works out in the end <laughs> you'll see how i kind of um, compensate for that so i'm just kind of slicing it to the shape of the nail and normally it sticks a bit better but we are just going with that and i'm just going to press it down i'm not going to cure it i'm just going to leave it as is and i'm taking that same loop that was left over and i'm rolling it out nice and thin and I'm going to do the same process where I loop it around and join it together. And then this time I'm going to spin it counterclockwise. And when we do that and get it nice and thin, I'm kind of even stretching it out a little bit to make them even. You get that little braid look. And what I like to do is press it down a little bit flatter. These were a bit thick, so I wanted them to not have as much volume. And then I'm kind of just using my nail to kind of pinch off any of the really thick parts um it's it's gonna look fine it's not gonna affect the design at all so I'm just really pushing it in and just kind of removing anything that's extra I went ahead and cured that and then I just took a little piece of the 3d gel flattened it out like a little pancake and then spread it on the nail and I'm just using my fingers and you probably shouldn't use your fingers um, for all of it um you should probably wear gloves um because you can get um, allergic reactions um but i you can just go in with silicone tools and you can practice with this on with your gloves on i'm just using the silicone tool just to kind of thin it out and make sure it's really tucked up in against that braid i'm just trying to make a little hat shape and then i go in with my other silicone tool that has a pointed end and i'm just making little circles i'm making deep circles all the way to the silver and then i'm just doing like little tiny dots along the edge just to create like a little texture pattern for this knit hat and i'm um, just going all the way up and completing that and it looks so so cute but we are going to up the cuteness factor once we get that all tucked in and i like to press down so there's no like little sticky yuppie bits and yeah i think it looks really cute yeah i go ahead and cure that and then i take a little ball and i flatten it out a lot and then i use my silicone tool to kind of press it out just so that we can get that really nice like puff ball texture that little pom-pom on the top and then just poke it all over the place to give it that texture and then I go ahead and cure that and then I go in with my Luxio Jelly Teal and what I'm doing is I'm just brushing it across you can really almost do like a dry brush or you can do kind of more what I did here and just really um ram it on there i do like the glass gels for stuff like this because it really does give it a lot of texture and dimension and this is an easy way you can create color with your 3d gels i do have a lot of colors but i definitely don't have a teal this color so this is a way to use white and get a lot of different other colors from it so i realized i had way too much on there so i'm wiping away a bit more um, but i love the way it looks in the braid and stuff and i'm just anything that went outside of it i'm just wiping it off i go in with my gel play paint in titanium white and i'm just filling in the bottom here to make the little snowman face and depending on your gel you might need to do two coats and just really try and make sure it's as even as possible because it, stuff will show if you uh, get it a little lumpy or bumpy. 
on this part, especially if you're doing it around the cuticle. So then I'm going in with my gel play black and I'm just using a dotting tool and I'm making two like ridiculously big eyes. I really wanted this snowman to have kind of that, those like anime or like kawaii eyes. I just think that's like really, really cute and I've kind of been in love with that look. So I'm just kind of perfecting it, making sure they're super huge, giving them a cure. And then I'm going in with my small end of my dotting tool and going in with the white. And there's always like a bigger white part and then there's like two little reflection spots kind of side by side that give them that like wide eye sparkly appearance. And I actually kind of wish I would have put some little lashes on the snowman. Um, I, I think if I ever do another one, I will just to give it a more like little cute feminine flirty look um but yeah I really love the way that looks and then I went in with a glass pink um you don't have to do that you could just use a regular light pink um but I was like you know what I haven't used enough glass gels lately <laughs> so I'm going in and making the little rosy cheeks um far on the other side of the eyeballs and then I'm going in and just making a tiny little smile in between all of that and just really kind of doing it like sketch style motion. We're not really laying down the brush at all. We're just really delicately putting it on there. And then I like um, the 3D elements to be matte. And I thought it would look really good if its little face was matte as well. So I'm going all over the hat or toque if you're Canadian like me and on the little face as well. And I'm using a little bit of a thicker coat on the face just to make sure that everything is all even because we did have a lot of different um, steps on the face. And the matte top coat that I used has an inhibition layer, so I'm just drying that off or giving it a little wipe with cleanser. And I think he looks so cute. I'm loving it. I'm going to show you the other one that I did. Um, it's a little pink hat and I brushed out um, the gel a little bit more from the hat so it gives it an even more textured look. You can kind of do it any way you like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later for Vlogmas.